we want to evaluate six times the square of the quantity five x minus y minus nine z when x equals two, y equals three, and z equals seven. We begin by performing substitution. We substitute two for x, three for y, and seven for z. And then we evaluate the expression following the order of operations. Performing the substitution, we have six times the square of the quantity five times x minus y, which gives us five times two minus three. And then we have minus nine z or minus nine times z, which gives us minus nine times seven. And now we evaluate the expression following the order of operations. For the first step, we simplify within the parentheses. Notice inside the parentheses here, we have multiplication and subtraction. We multiply and divide before we add and subtract. And therefore, the first step is to determine five times two, which is 10, which gives us six times the square of the quantity 10 minus three, minus nine times seven. Still simplifying within the parentheses, 10 minus three is equal to seven, which gives us six times the square of seven minus nine times seven. The next step is to simplify the exponents, which means we simplify seven squared, which is equal to seven times seven, which is 49, which gives us six times 49 minus nine times seven. The next step is to multiply and divide from left to right, which means in our case, the next step is to determine six times 49 and nine times seven. Six times 49 is equal to 294, and nine times seven is equal to 63. And of course, the last step is to determine the difference. 294 minus 63 is equal to 231. The expression six times the square of the quantity five x minus y minus nine z is equal to 231 when x equals two, y equals three, and z equals seven. Before we go, let's verify this on the calculator. To verify this, we enter the first expression here just as it's given. Which does give us 231. I hope you found this helpful.